December 1982, Boeing and Airbus were asking for a new, more powerful commercial engine, so Pratt & Whitney got to work. We were working on an engine called the uh, Improved JT9D. A year or two later, it became the PW4000, what we know today as the 94-inch engine. Basically started with a clean piece of paper and took some of the design features from the PW2000, as well as the more robust design features of the JT9, um, and, and kind of married those together. The uh, intention of the design, besides being in a drop-in replacement engine, uh, was to cover a thrust range of about 48 to 60,000 pounds of thrust. April 1984, the work comes to life. The PW4000 94 inch engine runs for the first time. It was kind of the second generation of high bypass engine, so it was, it came around in a time in the mid 80s when we went to fly by wire, electronic engine controls. It, it was breaking new ground in that regard. It was like going from carburetors to fuel injection. August 1985, the work takes its first flight. Less than a year later, it would receive FAA certification. I think that was my first impression, is how big these engines are and the incredible amount of thrust that they deliver. June 1987, the work pays off. The PW4000 enters revenue service. It went in fast and furious. Uh, very similar to the geared turbofan, we quickly had multiple installations at, on multiple airplanes. And the MD-11, which by the way was named the Spirit of Hartford by McDonnell Douglas, when it first came out because of the PW4000 and what it meant to the Douglas company. That was quite, now that engine made the airplane. 2017, here we are. 30 years later, the 94 inch PW4000 and the larger variants, the 100 inch, 112 inch that followed it, continues to glide through the skies. Success comes from what you might expect. It's a well-engineered, maintainable, reliable jet engine. Get the designers to work with the manufacturing engineers to get it so it's producible and you wouldn't have uh, difficulty making it. In many ways it was much better engineered with an eye towards maintenance. Um, it, the tools were, were more mature and developed. There's an engine that we have that has over 40,000 hours on it. The LPT on this engine hasn't been overhauled in over 20 years. What does that tell you? that that is a reliable engine. The United States government values reliability, so much so that the engine was chosen to power Boeing's KC-46 tanker. With this tanker program, we've extended the 94-inch the production line another 15 plus years. The common thread found through the years, however, always comes down to people. The people who designed it, built it, improved it, maintain it. Some still work here, some have retired, all connected by 30 years of success. Success that does not come by happenstance, rather by the people who got to work every day and allow the wonder of flight to come to life. I think it's a, a great um, testament to the people of Pratt & Whitney, how we carry on um, these engine programs you know, across generations. Yeah, there's a pride there when you see the uh, Eagle. Yeah, there's a pride there. A pilot who was in the area came up to me and just said, you're from Pratt & Whitney? And he said, I just want to tell you, how good I feel about that engine and how, how that engine holds me up and my airplane up. Don't ever stop doing it and don't ever change that eagle because I love it. That's what this pilot is telling me.